Hi, I'm Mike Ostertag. Welcome to Motor Power Monday. I made a little change. Instead of doing an SW1200, I'm going to do SW7, number 623. It's the only uh, unit of this model, the Milwaukee Rostered, and it was retired in 1980. It sold the Chrome Crankshaft in 1984. All right, let's get into this. We The frame is all stripped, ready to go. Nice thing is you can see the walkway detail, everything like that. Let's get this thing looking like an engine again. Okay, here we have the frame all set and ready to go. We're going to start getting these uh, pilots test fit. And then start taking them apart. Now, I'm going to take my needle nose pliers, or my bent pliers, I should say. I'm going to start taking some of the details that were already on here from the factory off. These uh, pin lifters and some of the grab irons. And just set these off to the side because we will be putting these back on later in the build. I'm going to take my razor saw and make a couple of cuts here and cut off these inset uh, pilot plates and footboards. As you can see, after a couple of cuts, it snaps right off just like that. Now I'm going to come back with my X Acto knife, trim up the little bit of plastic, take a file, file things down, get it ready. And as you can see, we're ready to do the other side. Do that for all four of them, and this is what the end result looks like. Now it's ready for its new pilot plates. Okay, we're going to start measuring up for the new plate and use my micrometer here. I'm going to start making the new measurements on a piece of 10,000 styrene. Um, the reason I'm going to make a template first is because I want to make sure that it fits the right way. And therefore, since I'm making this from a strip styrene, it's probably the best thing that I do that. The nice thing about doing it from a sheet of strip styrene or sheet styrene is if I make a mistake I've got plenty of material to go back and make a new one and luckily for me this time my little template as you can see I need to square that off my template doesn't quite fit so I'm gonna to have to notch it out and make it fit as you can see here using a little pencil and then cutting these little notches for the stairwell it'll get a couple of more notches knocked into it till I get to the right height that I want and then I'll use that as a template in a piece of 30,000, so like you'll see later, uh, to make the permanent new pilot plates. Always remember, it's okay to experiment and try things like this. And if you don't have success right away, keep at it. it you know, I didn't do this perfect the first time, and I wouldn't expect any modeler to be able to do it perfect the first time. We take, for example, this outstanding camera work. I mean... My fingers look amazing. See, I'm still trying to notch this out a little bit because it's not quite fitting the way I want it. I'm having a little problem with that gap on the bottom there, as you can see. I'll get back to it, and it'll end up being the way I want it. I'm going to put these pilots on. Uh, they're just held in by a couple of screws. i got a couple of notches, so they're pretty easy, and they make everything flush with the frame, which makes it really kind of convenient. Okay, since we got the pilot screwed in, we're going to put the air tanks on. It's just a simple slot, uh, peg and slot type system. So we're just going to put a little bit of CA on here, spread it around with a toothpick. And, I mean, this is pretty simple stuff. Um, nothing real special. I just thought I'd show you guys. Everybody here probably already knows how to do stuff like this. We got the one air tank on already. We'll flip this bad boy over. And we'll do the same thing over on the other side. So it's pretty simple. You know, the toothpick does a good job of just spreading it all around. And voila, we got both air tanks on. And now I'm just going to take and screw on the coupler box without the couplers. So that when I paint, it uh, ends up getting painted the same color as the rest of the underframe. I'm just going to do a double check with the uh, pilot template. Now that the coupler box is on, everything looks good, so I'm just going to put this on a piece of 30 thousandths, trace around it, and get it cut out. Now that i got it traced out, cut it out, fit it in place. Now that it's in place, I'm going to glue it in. Everything looks good. We're going to start moving on to the steps. Here all I'm doing with the steps is just taking a piece of 15 thousandths wire and cleaning them out. Right, and there you have it. The underframe is all set, ready to get painted. There'll be more details put on later on, but for the time being, this is all we need to do. Time to head to the paint booth after we clean this thing up with a little soapy water and get our gloves on. 
Okay, before we paint this thing, I'm going to uh, put some painter's tape in the uh, motor cradle that's cast into the frame. I'm doing this because I'm going to have a speaker down inside the fuel tank there, and that's where that's going to lie, and I want to be able to glue to that bare metal. Hey, here you can see I'm just using a can, uh, rattle can of Rust-Oleum Black. It's a semi-gloss. Leave a nice uh, surface for if I do need to decal this at any point in time, I'll have a nice glossy surface to do it. And it covers well because it's a primer and paint all in one. So therefore, I'm just trying this without having to uh, put a primer on it. We'll see how this all turns out. And now that the bomb's done, I flipped it over. I'm going to do the top. That cast-on walkway tread really pops when I put this black paint on it. Always remember to st keep your distance with a rattle can. That way you don't get any runs. And it should look pretty good when it's all said and done. Well, and here we have the end result. Still drying, but I think it turned out pretty good so far. I'm kind of liking this. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell icon on there so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. And we'll talk to you next time on Motor Power Mondays. And as always, keep her on the shiny side.